My name is Jackson, AKA the big unit. Some of you know me as the guitar repair guy. Some of you know me as the lead singer, guitarist, and songwriter for the heavy metal band Shatterbone. Some of you know me as an electrical educator. Some of you know me as the guy with the crazy guitar collection. Some of you know me as a diehard Raiders fan. For years I have been playing, collecting, and working on guitars and spending all my free time doing stuff with guitars. But now I'm building guitars. So, time to get going on GGBO here. And uh, what I'm going to start out doing, I have the mahogany that I'm going to use for the body here. Um, of course, it's not wide enough for a body yet. So, of course, I, I once again get to do the fun job of splicing, you know, putting together pieces for a body. So what I did here, just to get a somewhat functional idea, I cut out some pieces of cardboard uh, to give me an idea of what lengths I'm going to need in order to facilitate the right cuts to get the body to all fit. So I lay these two together here. These wings here, kind of like that. Get my center line. And these pieces are a little shorter than what I actually have for material, so they'll probably be wider when the final, or excuse me, they'll probably be longer than what I got here on the cardboard, but this is, this is good. I, I got everything fitting. I don't have any corners that are sitting underneath body. Okay. Four and a half. That should give me my two center pieces. I left an eighth of an inch for the saw kerf. And then I will just rip this in half to get these other two pieces once I have these cut off.
Yeah, I haven't adjusted it all yet. Okay. So about like that. Roughly so. Looks good. Now, next thing we gotta do... We're gonna have to plane just a little bit. Because I can see that there's a few gaps there that I'm not super excited about, so...
Couldn't squeak a fart through there. Although right up there, it looks like maybe there's just a, well, maybe not. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, hump or something right there. There's a gap. What? There we go. So I, I have been in constant contact with Ron about what he wants, what he doesn't, all that kind of stuff. Um, so he's, he's kind of, not kind of, he is super fond of the Richie Faulkner Epiphone V. Oh, the guitar player for Judas Priest, current guitar player for Judas Priest. Um, my brother is really fond of that. What the hell happened here? No, this is the right side. I see that. What the hell? Was I drunk? Oh, hey, I don't know what left is. Left-handed, I don't know what left is. There we go. Okay, anyway. Hey, sorry. the puzzle fits. Drunk. Anyway, um, he's really fond of the Richie Faulkner V. So, 
he kind of just wants to go with a, like a single volume knob and a switch and he wants the jack to be right here on the inside so when you have your strap on here you run your cord through it jacks right into the guitar instead of how a lot of these have it which is down here on a poker chip or right there um, which is kind of goofy for a V since most of us like to hook our guitar cable up through our strap so if we step on it on stage it doesn't unplug or bust the stupid little plastic poker chip that holds the pick or holds the jack in so I'm gonna have to come up with a way of achieving that um, but anyway I think at this point we're probably ready for glue up on the body I'm just going to trace this out real quick to make absolutely sure I have everything exactly where I want it. I don't think there's anything for it other than gluing it up. So I'm sitting here processing. Is there anything I should be doing before I put glue on it? I'm not coming up with anything. So hopefully that's a good sign and I'm not setting myself up for disaster. I can't think of anything else I need to do to this before I glue it. I have more than enough room on that guy to trim it out. I mean, I guess it could trim it out a little bit now, but I think that just is going to lend itself to not getting my lines lined up the way I need them to be. So. I think you should trim it later. I think I'm gonna, a lot less chance of having Oh, hey, when I cut that, that line doesn't line up anymore, or something stupid like that. Get your handle for your glue. Oh, yeah, well. Maybe, yeah. maybe you don't need it. No, I'm not really doing a shitload here this time, but.
Oh, the table is not really level right here for some reason. What is the problem there? Picture and text it to Ron. He's gonna wanna. Uh... Yeah, but have you been texting him to Ron? No, but I will. Man, this is going off fast. Because it's hot. Because it's hot. I did it this winter. Came back to it two days later and it still didn't look like it had completely set up. Now, I'm just getting to the scraping part after the clamps have been on for a few minutes and it's already getting gummy. ends too much every end is getting trimmed oh. <clears throat> okay so then that uh, gives us your body blank and we're gonna have to give that time to dry because even though it's Hot. It's still going to take a little time for it to dry enough to where I dare to do anything to it. Oh. Channel locks to the rescue. Maybe. Yep.
So I've been saying in my previous videos and stuff that I'm hoping to tackle a few new things with every guitar build. And with this one, I'm tackling painting a body. I've never painted a body. So, uh, if anybody's got any cool tips, other than don't paint, just stain, because that doesn't help me any. Uh, if anybody's got any cool tips for <clears throat> painting a body, I, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Just giving you fair warning now. Also, I've uh, never to this point in my life routed a Floyd Rose Tremolo. So, <clears throat> I'm guessing it's pretty straightforward. I've already looked at that. And I've got the template and everything, but again, something I've never done before. And I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing with the neck pocket yet. My brother, he's kind of been back and forth on whether he wants a glued in neck, set neck, or if he wants a bolt on neck. I have the capability of doing both with these templates. Well, I guess this template doesn't give me the heel pocket, but I have templates that have heel pockets on them that I can put a heel on it if I want to. Um, these templates give me the option to route it out if I want to do the tenon. I'm going to have to figure out what direction we're going with that. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of My Madness. Uh, click like, subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.